And I'm going to talk about one of the programs that IEEE USA has for promoting engineering to K through 12 and beyond. Our focus in engineering in IEEE USA mm -hmm. is shaping careers and building careers and shaping public policy. And one of that is to reach out to the K through 12 community. And we do that as a professional organization through our volunteers, but also programs that we have. In our public awareness portion of it, one of the programs that we've started recently in 2007 was this IEEE USA video competition. And the theme of the video competition is how do engineers make a world of difference? Now, Julie mentioned that students don't want to see 35 plus year old people. So we decided to send the student competition out to our college students. We have IEEE student members and we challenged them with a competition. It's only seated with $5,000. That's all we could scrape together, but we have three place prizes, first, second, third, 2,000, 1,500, and 1,000. And we asked them to build a video that we would post on YouTube and to target this video to 11 to 13 year olds answering the question, why do you think and how do you think engineers are making a world of difference? So it's not us telling them what they should say, it's the student members, undergraduate members of universities deciding what they want to say to the 11 to 13 year old age group. And they've come up with some ideas that we would never have been able to come up with because we just can't think the same way. We're different, we're established, we're old, but they have some really cool and innovative ideas. At the end, I'll show you one of their videos from this year's winner. And you'll see with just the incentive of $2,000 how creative, innovative, and interesting they create these videos. And we had a couple of videos that gotten over 8,000 hits on YouTube, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for the investment from the students, that's great exposure. One of our winners from Pensacola State College showcased this video to middle school schools. And she went and went and to the schools and showed the video to them. One of her brothers is a student member there, and so he was in the video. But it's like putting, like uh, Jackie said, put the people into the pictures and it excites them. And they were so thrilled that they were in this video on YouTube that they wanted to go around and talk to other students about engineering, what they learned through this process, why it was important to go into engineering or consider engineering for a simple incentive of a couple of thousand dollars of scholarship grants. How do we promote this? It's through our IEEE USA and IEEE channels, through IEEE websites, student <coughs> emails, spectrum ads. We've reduced the ads recently just because of budget constraints, but we found that the direct emails and the direct contact through our volunteer network is really how to get the wor word out and to get schools excited. We've toyed maybe with the component of adding additional funding to the schools in addition to the students for scholarship money, which might drive an incentive to get schools to get on board and promote it within their universities. That's not a done deal yet, but we would certainly partner with society and university publications to promote this. Total scholarships to date, $16,000. We did announce the winners in the 2010 eWeek Live. They broadcast the videos, which was a huge, huge promotion, featured on the Design Squad website. DVDs to our student chapters, and we started adding um, extra travel money to this to bring the student winners to our IEEE USA annual meetings, where they do interact with volunteer leaders and the older guys to talk about what inspired them to create this video so that we can filtrate the older guys with some of these younger ideas about why are people wanting to go into engineering? What is it that's exciting these students to take time out of their schedules? I mean, these are students that are studying engineering, which is not easy, and they're taking time out of their schedules to team up with people in the film department or team up with people in other departments to create the videos because they're passionate and they're excited about this profession that they want to pursue. So this is a great way to transfer that passion and excitement to our volunteer leaders who then take it back to their communities and promote the competition further. 
Some of the challenges we have is that we don't get a lot of entries. This past year, we only received nine entries, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it isn't a lot. We'd like to see a lot more entries, but we feel maybe we limited their innovation to a sense by putting some rules on the competition. So one of the rules is that you have to be an IEEE member and to have created this video, and you have to be an undergraduate student. We're looking at relaxing this rule a little bit, potentially letting them have just maybe a representative from IEEE as part of the team and having the team be very broad instead of the IEEE member doing the entire video. Social media engagement, again, just getting the word out that this is available. They have a fairly short turnaround time on this. We announced the competition at the beginning of every school year, so in August, September timeframe, and they have to submit the videos by the beginning of January, which is fairly sh quick turnaround time for, for a competition with a lot of intensive uh, design components to it. And one of the other challenges, even within our own organization, is this battle between should it be how engineers make a world of difference or how professional technologists or technology professionals make a world of difference. And we want to reach more people, but we also want to stay focused on engineering. And this is, a, this is an inside battle. Maybe some of the companies, some of you, are also experiencing the same thing. How do you differentiate? And sometimes the students have come back and said, we don't know how to define an engineer, but we understand what it means to be a technology professional. And can we use that in our, in our video? So that's a, something we're, we're struggling with, trying to figure out something maybe we can talk about today and get some ideas. We have a few rules, as I mentioned. You can't use copyrighted materials. It has to be original. You have to use the award for qualified tuition. Um, also, because IEEE USA is that component of IEEE that focuses on the US side of our professional organization, we did have a restriction that you have to be a US graduate, undergraduate student member. So even within our organization, because we haven't fully deployed it or embraced it necessarily at the IEEE national, international level, we have a few rules that maybe are limiting. So we're reevaluating some of these rules and looking at how do we broaden this competition, get more engagement. So this will hopefully entice you to consider similar, similar programs where you ask the students themselves and those people that we want to engage in engineering to define it themselves and create material that they are promoting within their own peer group, within their own community. And I, I, this is a really cool studio, so if we could play that video, please. My name is Sergio Flores Castro, and I'm an IEEE member. Hello, I'm Miguel Murillo, and we're both electrical engineering students at UNLV. Now sit back and enjoy the video. What comes to your mind when you think of engineers? Engineers? When I think of engineers, I think of boring math books. Hard physics equations that I can't understand. And there's like this one that just came in. In the real world, engineers are regular people working on projects that make life better for all of us. Like the following engineer who's working on renewable energy. Solar energy is a possible way of supplying our future uh, electrical and other kinds of needs. Harvesting sunlight to make electricity is extremely important. Why is that important? Well, thanks to this kind of engineering, in the future, our lights won't have to go out or our cars stop moving. So how do you become an engineer? It all starts by studying hard and going to college. Come up with an innovative idea and use it with the skills you learn to really make a world difference. So next time you think of an engineer, don't just think of an nerd like this one. Think of the real engineer, who's making the things we use every day. Like cell phones, video games, cars, and things. 
Are you ready to become an engineer? How do I, how do I look like him? <laughs> Get a leather jacket. <laughs> But as you can see, without us prompting them, we simply gave them the guideline of the theme. And we didn't even use some of the taglines to give to them, yet they developed them on their own. And maybe it's more powerful if we were to, but I think we want to maintain our non-intrusiveness and non-restrictiveness of the ideas and the things that they generate. Hopefully we can continue to promote this video competition and take it to a bigger, broader level in IEEE USA. That's my presentation. Thank you.